Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we meet the man himself. He does look, it does resemble him a little bit, now that I think of it. I am not sure if the, the character model was created based on him or something. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, well, I'm talking about this guy over here. Apparently, he can get out of any situation. And if you missed last episode, then you don't know what's going on. Well, you're not gonna know what's going on, because I'm not gonna explain it to you. You're gonna find out by yourself. Let's see what we have back here, uh, before we talk to the man himself. And, uh... Let's see if there's anything there. There's never, never anything there. What is that? Broken suspension tank. Huh. Looks like they used a bunch of weird stuff to use to, to make this um, little place that we're in right right now. I apologize for the hiccup. It's the nerves. The, it's the nerves of meeting the guy himself. The man himself, I mean. Not not guy himself. Guy ver. Hmm? Hello. If you came to play hockey... Hockey, you'll have to wait a little bit until I finish the stadium. What? Who are you? Sorry, I have introduced myself. My name is MacGyver. As you can see, I'm building a ring for ice hockey here. Great game, don't you think? Who are you, actually? I'm just a man that helps whatever the help is needed. Wherever the help is needed. Besides rescuing people out of trouble, I'm mostly engaged in uh, protecting the environment and I was pretty successful in it. I was able to prevent the continuous destruction of nature. It's a shame that the nuclear war turned out, uh, turned all my efforts to ashes. But after some ice hockey matches, I'll start anew. So you lived in the times before the war? How is that possible? When I heard that warheads were fired, I wanted to stop it. I cr a crafty switch of some wires in any control center would do the trick. But uh, when I was heading there, looting and violence broke out. So I was helping in any way I could. I was preventing looting, restraining thugs, directing people to vaults and so on. Ultimately, I only had time to build a little shelter with cryostasis for myself. It stopped working just recently due to the uh, shortage of energy. The bottle of Nuka-Cola can produce electricity forever. <laughs> so I woke up. So, you've got the skills like that, shouldn't you be crafting something more important? Oh, in this moment there's nothing more important than a hockey stadium. It will help everybody. What else should I be crafting? Guns? Guns are evil, I remember that. R remember that, he says. But when I finish the stadium, hopefully people will switch guns for hockey. Hockey. Ho hockey sticks. I, I can't say that word properly, can I? Hmm. Well, I need guns for my own protection. If there were no guns among the people, then you wouldn't need them either. And even if in the case of a gun-related threat, there is always a way to save yourself. You can just, uh, well, you just need to look around. There are lots of things that you can use to stun your opponent, or even better, to avoid him. Mm, so could you craft something useful out of the junk I carry with, with me? I could, but I don't want to hinder the building of the stadium much longer, so I'll craft you each thing only once. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do it, so later you will be able to do it as well. And unfortunately, I lost my mul 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 multifunctional Swiss pocket knife. With it, you can craft anything out of anything. Without it, the possibilities are quite limited. Okay, take a look at my bag and see if you can craft anything. Well, there are some things we can use here. You just have to do this. Look, it takes a grenade and a flower... He does some some strange, even nasty things with them. And after a couple of seconds, he gives you a new product. In here, we have a beautiful pot of daisies. Now, you can craft one too, am I right? You absolutely have no idea how he did it. Well, I don't even, I don't even have to ask, right? It's trivial. We won't talk about it anymore, so you won't think that I considered you stupid. Well, take a look again and see if I have something you can use. I couldn't do it without my pocket knife. Just a few things that I could use to build the stadium, but I won't take them from you. You just, you sure need them. Can I ask you something else? Sure, ask away. What interests you? Um, so, are you a pacifist uh, or an, an, an environmental activist? Uh, yes, that is the only right philosophy in life. One day we will all live in peace. There will be peace between people, between people and animals, and between animals of all kinds as well. All the carnivorous animals can eat tofu instead of meat, just like people should. You're... okay? I... okay. I don't have time for this. I'll have you here with your dreams. I'll leave you here with your dreams. See you later, Mr. MacGyver. Oh, man. I don't remember him being like that. I... I oh. That... Let's drop this on the floor. What is this pot of daisies? A flower pot of daisies aren't they nice. Five pounds worth of pot of daisies. That's not nice. Hmm. Okay. Well, save the game and see you later, I guess. MacGyver's gonna stay there almost 
perfectly between Korath, and actually perfectly between Korath and, um, and Sedit. Right there in the middle. Huh. Okay, we have some red scorpions. That's okay. I can take care of them. Oh. Actually, 65% chance to hit is not that okay. That guy's very afraid. As they should be. I think they are afraid. I'm not sure they are. Uh, can I end combat? I can. So let's approach. Oh, they're aggressive. Yeah, they weren't afraid. They were just moving. It's all good. I can hit them now with a proper 95% chance to hit. Here they come. Please don't waste your, waste your bullets. That guy's not in battle. That guy's not in the battle either. 85. Nice. And I can end combat. I cannot. That guy's going away. And I'm going to take a shot at that guy's head. Should be okay. That's the kill. Yeah. End combat. And there we go. Get closer. So killing some red scorpions. Not really anything that I'm too interested in. But I'm doing it for the experience. It's still a fair bit of experience. So, yeah. Let's do this. And here comes this guy. And he's dead. And we're going to go this way. Oh. I missed the 95. Well. We just got baked. Red Scorpion. And I ran out of ammo as well. But it's fine. That's okay. Let's continue. And here we go to set it. We're still going to set it as we were. Yeah, it's perfectly between uh, set it and Korath. It's right smack down in the middle. Okay, it's kind of late in the night. Hmm. There we go. That That's that's good. Okay, so let's go to short lane and uh, let's have a chat with Frederick. It was in here, Frederick, right? I think so. Let's go ahead and have a chat with the guy. He's going to tell us to go... Kill ourselves, and we're gonna do so, uh, except it's not gonna turn out like that. Hey, sir, um, uh, so, oh, yeah, that's right, I have a message, that's right, and he's gonna tell me to go instead, okay. Yeah, I have a message for you from Kevin, said it, Kevin would uh, like to discuss some unfinished things from the last council meeting. The meeting should take place this evening in the official room. Said it, Caravan? Uh, that doesn't sound right. I don't have a particularly good relationship with the management of that company. Listen, you look like someone who knows how to take care of more demanding situations. Maybe you could go there instead of me. I'd pay you well. Okay, I'll go there. Thank you. You're doing me a big favor. The meeting's tonight. Please be careful. Okay, actually, that wasn't a good idea to uh, just wait around for no reason. Who the hell are you supposed... No, what the hell are you doing here? Where's Frederick? I'm supposed to be meeting him, not you. Whoever you are. Yeah, well, Frederick asked me to represent him. Yeah? Well, I'm not going to waste my time with you. And she turns to her people. Take care of him. Come on, can't we talk about this? Apparently not. And I don't have control. This was my complaint the first time around. I could have probably done some things the first time around. Of course, I was alone. Didn't even have carry at the time, I don't think. Uh, so I got shot for no damage. And this guy's not gonna... Oh, he... 10 millimeter pistol. Combat knife. And a 10 millimeter pistol. So I'm gonna shoot that guy in the head. Hopefully... Bring him down. That was not a critical. I'm gonna get closer. Ouch! Come on! Oh, seriously. Are you... <sighs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this trouble. There we go. That's what you get. Let me get out of the way. Damn you. That was a miss, of course. I might not look it, but I can protect my... Yo, you look it. You look it, girl. Oh, he's... Uh, no damage. That's good. Okay, let's see if I can send him down. Uh, that was just some damage. That was a hit from Gary. Look at that. That was a kill from Gary, no less. Okay, that guy was critically hit and for a lot of damage, actually. And we take his hat off, and there we go. Okay. I don't want to kill you, but I... Okay, you shut up. Let's see if these girls have anything to say. Uh, yeah, well, she does. It looks like Frederick's invitation was really a trap. I can't say it's surprising at all. That's how business is done in Sedit, and in this case, we had an opportunity to see Nikel with his, with our own eyes. That's not something that happens every day and around here. I gotta say I'm disappointed. I imagine she'd look different, but that's because she's too disgu She's too discussed by people in Sedit in Sedit who've never seen her. You hadn't seen her before? I told you I'm not I, I'm not interested in running our company, so unlike Dimitri, I never dealt with her. And Nicole never shows herself unless it's necessary. Sometimes you can even hear people saying she doesn't even exist, usually from moronic drunkards. Okay, it's fine. Uh, so you're good to go. Let's see if she has anything to say. She probably doesn't. Oh, she does. Oh, Shadrix. Yeah, Shadrix mutterings at the uh, is at its end. What else is there to uh, What else is there to say? You know. A lot of the dwellers in the city say pretty mo nasty things about the people from the wastes. They've never left the empire, and so they de demonize everybody outside it in all kinds of ways. 
But I've never heard anyone imagine a thing so dreadful. This is a true example of the utmost odiousness the Wasteland can offer. It makes me sick. It is a good thing that Justice of Korath got him. Thank you for taking care of it. Yep, you don't have to thank me. Stopping him was the right thing to do. Well, that and uh, we didn't really, weren't really given a chance. Well, we were, kind of, maybe. Anyway, let's take that. I might be able to sell it later. We do have a trader somewhere in town. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to carry all this. I can drop some of this stuff over there, see if I can carry this. The daisy. The daisy is not going to be needed, right? Hopefully it's going to be expensive, but needed. Mm. So what do I need to do? I need to go to the trader. The trader was over here at Salem's. Okay, can I read? Do I have anything to read? Well, I have this, but it's, it can't be read. Um, yeah, I can't read. So let's go outside of the city. And from there... Mm -hmm. Yeah, last time I was here, I, of course, I didn't have the uh, the power armor. So from there, we're going to go around a little bit, make the time go away. And then we're going to go to and sell some of our crap. Mostly the daisies, because I don't care for them. So let's just do this. Move around a little bit. A little bit more. That's good. There we go. Press that and go to downtown. And here we are again. Do I still have those? Of course I still have those. I'm going to leave the daisies there if they don't sell for much. Or leave them here. Might as well do that. So let's go there. And of course the girls are severely overburdened. But that's fine by me. They're, they can help me. Welcome! Yeah, so show me your special goods. You got an inflatable doll. Uh, what about that magazine? So, yeah, cat's paw. No, I'm not interested. I thought maybe it was going to be something and it was not going to say what it was. It was going to be like, I don't know, like a skill book or something. So, what do we have here for you for you to sell me? Mm, some money. Okay, money's good. Mm, nothing else is there. Well, there's some steam packs. Those are nice. Those are definitely nice. And I can buy you that one. And I can buy you also the doctor's bag. Because you never know when I'm going to break a leg. You never know when you break your leg. Let's go ahead and do that. Sell him this and this. The pot of daisies doesn't sell, so I'm just going to drop it. There it is. And uh, the grenade. Yep, sell it. This one I, I'm going to keep just in case. Is this one expensive? Not really that much. It's not good, so I'm gonna, just going to sell it as well. And... Uh, oh my god, almost! Almost! Look at the amount of money. That was almost perfect. Uh, so yeah, there it is. And... We're a little bit lighter on our back. That's good on our feet, I guess. So, bye. Okay, so now let's go back to Frederick. Frederick? And uh, is there any other trader in town? I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't think so. But, yeah. Let's go back to Frederick. Tell him how that went on. And hopefully, well, I guess we'll find out. So, tell me. What was it like? What happened? Yeah, well... Nickel was there, but as soon as I walked in, she set her man on me. She ex she certainly wanted to kill you. She was quite disappointed I was there instead of you. I managed to take care of myself, as you can see, but she escaped. Ah, Nickel, the owner of Sedit Caravan? I was afraid she'd try something like this. There's quite a bit of competition between our companies. And what are you going to do now? I can't do anything. It's just your word against hers. A stranger's word against the word of the owner of the caravan company. On top of that, she's also a member of the town council. Uh, we must let it be. Here, take your reward and try to forget this whole terrible affair as soon as you can. As soon as you can. Okay, well, if you say so. You know, my company has another problem. An even bigger, uh, an even bigger one. It's the raiders. My caravan's been facing more and more attacks. You've shown you can handle things when, it, when in danger. So I was thinking you might want to help me with them. Of course, I'll help with the raiders. Fine, but uh, you have to know it's uh, all more complicated than it may seem at first. <sighs> the raiders are attacking every important caravan sent out of town. Because they can't watch the whole wasteland, they must have information from someone inside. Someone from my company who knows all about our caravan routes and when the caravan transport really valuable goods. That narrows it down to three people apart from me. Frost, our caravan leader, my deputy Tim, and our assistant Jeremy. Maybe I'm wrong, but I can take the risk. I want you to take a closer look at these three. Try inviting them for a drink in the pub and, well, then when they're in the mood, talk to them. The culprit will certainly give himself away on his own. Okay, so the uh, assistant Jeremy would be uh, the likely suspect the the most likely suspect because just the assistants probably not really the I don't know probably not really the most trustworthy in the middle of it all of them all the frost our caravan leader kind of doesn't make sense so we would be the least one and the deputy team is probably gonna be the me the the 
the middles middlelists one according to uh according to um Dwight Schrute, that's gonna be the suspect right there so yeah so uh, what's the pay for the job by the way I don't have much money but if you succeed I'll pay you 400 caps okay I'll see you later so I need to talk to Tim so this guy his name is a man for a caravan so from the caravans I need to talk to Tim where's this Tim dude that's Jeremy that's the assistant these guys Tim let's have a chat with the guy Tim lifts his head from the box full of old documents he was just going through and looks at you, clearly agitated. Oh, well, um, what do you need? What, what, what do you need from me? Uh, can, can you see I'm very busy? Well, I so, uh, well, take it easy. How about we two go to a bar or something? I'm sorry, but that won't do. I, I've got things I need to finish. Besides, I'm not a very good, not very good on terms, of, you know, with alcohol and stuff. Oh, come on, a little fun like, I mean, a fun time will only do you good. Frederick would surely agree. What do you say? Uh, well, it would be nice to take a break from all these papers. Yeah, yeah why not? Let's let's go out. But uh, just for a while, no one will check the accounts for me. Okay, that's the right spirit. Let's go. Actually, that, that excuse was pretty good. Somebody that was looking through papers to uh, get himself some edge in terms of uh, just, uh, I don't know, spilling the beans. Probably wouldn't say what he just said. Uh, Tim brings you to the crater. Uh, I'm here for the first time myself, but our caravan guards won't say half an ugly word about this place. What shall we have? So, tequila, rum, or beer? Never had tequila in my entire life. Tequila is made out of uh, agape fruit, I think it is. Uh, and that is, of course, native to the uh, North America continent. So, I have no idea how that tastes. Although, they do sell it here. I just don't buy it. Rum is made out of uh, juniper berries, I believe. Or is that gin? Gin is made out. Nah, I don't know what rum is made out. I love rum, uh, but I also love beer. I think beer is gonna be better because apparently he doesn't hold his liquor too much. Although that, mm, let's go with rum. The actually that's rot gut. I think what just bought. But but anyway, it doesn't matter. The contents of the first glass disappeared in your throat, and the others soon followed. You don't have a clear idea how long you two have been drinking, but Tim's evidently getting to its to his limits. His face is paled, and he speaks with great difficulty. It seems to you it's the time to start your investigation. Tim, look! Tim, tell tell me what you really think of Fred Frederick. Tim gets even paler and gulps down. He's a good boss. I don't have nothing against. He gulps down again. Oh, man. Okay, he's still drinking. Okay, look here. How is it really with those raiders? I don't know. I, I don't know enough. I... Tim can't fight it anymore. He throws up and falls to the floor. Oh, man. I guess that's all I get from him. Damn it! Is that really gonna be it? Oh boy. Oh! Who fell? No, that was just Tim. Okay. I might be able to... You can see right away he doesn't go to the bar very often. <laughs> no, I can see that right there. Uh, what am I gonna do? Can I steal from him? I'm gonna try. Okay, he doesn't have anything for me. Tim's got enough. Yes, he has. Okay, so he's gonna... Hmm... Is he not? Is he not the guy? Was I wrong to believe Dwight Schrute's theory that the middleest suspect is 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 the uh, is the likeliest suspect? I don't remember if that's the word he said, but well, I don't know. For those of you who don't know who I'm talking about, go and watch the U.S. version of The Office because that is amazing. Uh, but let's have a chat then with Jeremy. Let's get him drunk as well. Hey, Jeremy, I just have a bunch of rum, but that's fine. Jeremy gives you a bored look. So, what do you want? Uh, so, uh, want a drink at the bar? I don't know you at all. I mean, to hell with it. Uh, why not? It's been a it's been a while since I got bombed. I'm not sure the boss will let me though. Yeah, Frederick and I are old pals. Getting you some time off wouldn't be a problem at all. Well, that's great. I'll get hammered like never before. Okay, so apparently he's. Yeah, let's go with rum this time. I, I probably should have gone with beer for the guy. Let's go with rum. I think the killer is not really that strong either. Rum is really the strongest one. Let's go with this one. Oh, he said something. Dang it. Oh, it, does, it says right there. Okay, Jeremy brings you to the crater. I'll guarantee you won't find a better place and set it. The prices for booze are great. And that Clark's whore... No, what? And that Clark's whore will spread practically for nothing. Trust me, I've tried. So what do we start with? Okay, rum. Okay, in just a few moments, you drink one, two, three glasses. A few hours have passed, and you're staring, uh, starting to feel sick. And look at that, the guy's no longer there. Uh, Jeremy's not looking any better, but he keeps drinking. Okay, so, hey, Jeremy. Um, what, uh, what do you think of, of your boss? 
I mean, Frederick is a dipshit. Completely simple-minded loser who... Do you know everything in the, in the company's paid better than me? Everybody in the company's paid better than me? Ah, oh, fucker. Damn. If I wasn't for from generous raiders, fu fuck. Didn't say nothing. Oh, yeah, you did. Speak, Jeremy. Speak. Look, I'll leave it alone. We'll be all fine. How about money? Money can solve anything. I'll give you a hun Wait. 200 caps. Uh, you could forget about everything. Or even better, you blame it on Tim. I can't stand that fucking prick. You'll get you get some from, from Frederick as well, and I well, I'll be completely out and safe. What you say? Deal? Nah, I won't accept this. You're making a mistake. Big mistake. You're gonna regret it this very much, big. Well, we'll see. Okay. It's a good thing he didn't attack me though. And he's gone. Tim is no longer here, so he seems to have sobered up and uh, gone back, which is a good thing for him. I don't want to see the little guy. Oh, I've lost perception. I gained perception. I've lost... Oh, boy. Where's my perception? No, give me my perception back. My perception is up to six. No! That's bad. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's the fact that I drank so much. Ah, it's fine, though. Don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to be all right. I'm going to use the time. I don't actually know the time. But I think it's just eight hours until that perception goes away, or two hours or something. Uh, so let's go out of town. Jeremy's still there. He doesn't shoot me on sight because he does really doesn't really have a reason to. If he knew what it was good for him, we would be bailing out of t out of town. But he's, he doesn't. He's a drunkard. So it is okay. That should be okay. I heard the little tuk go off, and that was the perception getting back. That's good. Let's go over here and have a chat with Frederick. And uh, let's actually, actually we'll have a chat with Tim, see what he says about this whole ordeal. And if he's good with it, don't even try it, you won't get me to another bar no more. Oh man, he really didn't enjoy the bus. Yeah, it's alright, you can't blame him. Um, I'm glad to see you again, what can I do for you? Well, about the raiders, what about them? I managed to find out who's responsible for the information. The information leak, I mean. <sighs> Which one's responsible? The helper, Jeremy. <sighs> and I trusted him so much, but... We must ensure that he can't endanger any more lives. You have to get him out of town somehow. There, you'll tell him he may never return. But don't hurt him, no matter what. The exile will be sufficient punishment for him. Well, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. I'll take care of him. Huh, that's kind of weird. Does he like him or something? Or is he just opposed to getting people killed? Maybe that's the case. Well, I don't know. Why do you show your ugly face of yours around here, you fucking snitch? Fuck off. Yeah, you should have spared me the slur. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, you should have spared me the slur. I didn't rat on you. Frederick offered me a little job out of town. He says you're to go with me. Trudge off into the wasteland just like that, huh? Forget it. I'm not going anywhere. You can go and tell Frederick that. Well, I'm not saying it's just like that. How about a hundred caps so you just get something from it, huh? Hmm... Okay, well, I guess I can sacrifice some of my precious time. Well, we're, where are we going exactly? Well, you'll see. Set out to the desert with Jeremy. Nope. You are in the middle of a plane stretching to the horizon in all directions. The long journey exhausted Jeremy considerably. He seems to be very edgy. Damn, there's nothing here. What are we supposed to be doing here? Shut up, Frederick. No, shut up. Frederick knows everything. He wants you to leave, set it for good. So get lost and don't try to come back. So Frederick knows what I've been doing to him. And he'll settle with banishing me from town? That <laughs> loser doesn't even have the balls to have me killed. What about you? You can't be that yellow. Come on, why don't you try to take me out? Take me down. Well, as you wish, Jeremy. As you wish. You won't get me. Well, won't I? You won't get me for sure. You don't even have a weapon, man. There we go. I don't care for Jeremy. I don't care for you. I am basically went with his wish, I, although the gamer is probably going to... Well, that's my hunter caps. Well, that's good, that's good. Totally in character as well. I am victorious in combat and earn 90 experience points. And so I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm totally fine with that. Let's continue our journey and go back. Oh, actually, we're, we were quite close to set it. Probably, I don't know how he got exhausted by just 10 hours of, of going if he goes in a caravan all day, but whatever. 10 hours of walking, I mean. So, yeah, I'm going to tell... What's his name? Frederick? I'm gonna tell Frederick that uh, I didn't kill him and everybody will be happy. Glad to see you again. What can I do for you? Well, about the raiders. What about them? I've taken care of the rat. 
Thank you. I couldn't have done it on my own. He gives you 300 caps. You deserve the money, and uh, I've got another job for you. Oh, sure. I'm listening. Good. Uh, so, at the time of your absence, I managed to find out where the raiders are set up their men hideout. Those cutthroats are right here in Sedit, more precisely in Lost Town. That's how they are able to attack my caravan right outside of town. Rumor is they're hiding somewhere on the ground, but I didn't find out how to get to them. So what do you want me to do? You have to find their hideout. Huh. And kill all of them. I'm afraid there is no, no other way to prevent further attacks on the caravans. Okay, I'll take care of them. Nobody will survive. I know exactly where they are because we have been there in the past. Although I don't know if Odo has been there in the past himself. Or this Odo, I mean. Because of uh, load games and all that sort of stuff. So we're not going to go through the tunnel because it's a pain in the ass to deal with that. We're just going to go there, click here, go to Lost Town. And uh, we're going to end up having to deal with these guys over here sooner or later. But for right now, we're just going to go down. Is it here? It is not. <laughs> it's my collecting spot. Oh, by the way, I think this guy was not trying to troll me. Let me let me get his quest. Somebody told me that I should I should get his quest. Uh, it's you again. You're supposed to be here. This is okay. So what are you talking about? I really have no idea. Uh, wait a minute. You're not collected. No, I'm I'm a traveler. Okay. What do you have to do? That's the one. Travel. It's okay. Is it? Yeah. What stuff? Uh, two hundred bucks for junk. Okay. Let's go with that one. Good price. Very good. You'll earn two hundred caps just for making the journey. That's good. And why don't you take the chunk to Jonathan himself? Uh, it's quite a stretch. There's lots of things here, there, here. Big, big money. Okay, so, yep. Yeah, I'll give me the junk and I'll give you the money. I don't need the money anyway. Show me the map. Yeah, show it here. And he dabbed with his finger at a place on the map of your pit boy. Jonathan, he lives in a scrapyard. Tell him it's from Charlie. He'll give you a good price. So, go now. Hurry, go. Hmm. Okay, but if you've conned me and there's nothing there, I'll be back. You're not, and you're not gonna like that. Okay. Lots of stuff here. I'll be here. Now you go. Shoo. And what I did before is I killed him. But apparently he's put his money somewhere that I can get to. So I, yeah, I couldn't do that. It's a shame that I couldn't because I would like to, to have killed him and got the money back. And just sell the junk anyway. So, you know, that's how I do. But that didn't work. So I need to find out for now. We're going to find out where the... Uh, where the raiders are. I, I know there's somewhere around here. There's someone in a... Is that over there? No, this is where the, play, the people get drunk. It could be up here. Uh, and then after that, we're probably going to go have to go on back to the wasteland. Because that guy marked it on the map. That might be the last location. So, what I said about the game not ending. When I go down to uh, the, that other place. Might be completely false. Let's see what I can get out of this. So that thing just sends us down. There are traps, so we must be very careful about these traps. Actually, we... Hmm. So, uh, wait here until I return. And you wait here until I return. I think they're still gonna fight for me. But what I wanna do is I wanna step on all the traps here. Okay, there are no traps. That's the one. That was actually a little bit of damage, but that's fine. That's yeah, totally fine. Oh, actually, that's that was a lot of damage. Didn't die, so that's good. Uh, so let's have a chat with uh, Lystra. Uh, so, yeah, let's go. But first, can you treat me? And so... Do I have... I do have stuff for her, I think. Uh, I have this and I have this. If she can carry both, that would be amazing. And she can. That's good. Okay, let's... Uh, so can you treat me? I want... Um, yeah, use the uh, first aid kit. There it is. And now we're back to full strength. I think that took a little while, but that was the numbers rolling in that thing over there. Oh boy, we're running out of time for the episode. So I'm gonna do this myself like so. I shouldn't be able to, I shouldn't be, oh, there it is. I got a trap there, that's fine. Everything is good, and I don't think there are more traps for us. So let's have a chat with her, and uh, yeah, let's go. And let's prepare, because next episode, not this one, because we're out of time, we'll kill all of these guys. They're not gonna be too happy with us being here. They weren't too happy with us being here the last time around. Uh, but less so this time, because I got a power armor, I got two girls with laser rifles, and I got a sniper rifle myself, so... That's going to be good. It's going to be good. Tune in next time for more Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. But for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.